Hello friends in this video I will show you how to insert form data using jQuery post method. This method loads a page from the server using a post HTTP request. Friends this is my simple table with name table form, there is three fields like id, name and message. I will insert form data using jQuery post method into this table. This is my simple page in which I have used Bootstrap CSS framework and jQuery JavaScript library. First I have write open and close form tag. I have write one attribute that is equal to submit form. After this I have defined one input type is equal to text with name is equal to name, it is equal to name and class is equal to form control. Here form control is a one CSS class of bootstrap. Second I have write open and close text area field. In this field I have write name attribute is equal to message it is equal to message and class is equal to form control. In form lastly I have write input type is button with name attribute is equal to submit it is equal to submit class is equal to b10 b10 info and value is equal to submit here b10 and b10 info is css class of bootstrap framework Now friends I have write open and close division tag with id attribute is equal to response in this division tag I will display error message or success message or inserted form data. Now friends I have moved the jQuery code part for write jQuery code I have write open and close script tag and between this script tag I have write dollar document dot ready method with one anonymous function. Friends I have write jQuery code on button click event, when user click on button then form data will insert into database, here I have used selector, so I have write dollar with button is submit dot click event with one anonymous function. In this jQuery code when user click on submit button then I want to disable this button for reducing insert of more than one data into table for this I have write dollar with selector button dot prop method with first parameter disabled and second true. With help of this code when user click on button it will be disabled. Under this function first I have defined one variable name, in this variable I will store value of text box with a name. After this I have again defined second variable message and in this variable I will store the value of text area field with a is equal to message. Now friends I want to check both HTML field has some value, for this I have write of statement with condition variable name double equal to blank or variable message double equal to blank. If suppose both variable is equal to blank then we will display error message into division tag with it is equal to response. For this I have write dollar division tag id response dot html method and under this method I have write open and close span tag and between span tag I have write all fields are required. I have defined class with name text danger to span tag. Here text danger is a class of bootstrap.
friends if both variable has no value then at that time button must be enabled for clicking for this I have right dollar hashtag with button is submit dot prop method with first parameter disabled and second parameter I have right false with help of this code button will be enabled for clicking. But suppose if both variable has some value then I have right query post method. In this method there is three parameters one is URL a string containing the URL to which the request is sent, second is data, this optional parameter represents key value pairs or the return value of the serialized function that will be sent to the server and third is callback, this optional parameter represents a function to be executed whenever the data is loaded successfully. Friends and URL parameter I have write insert.php. In this page I will write PHP code for insert data into database. In data parameter I have write dollar hash with form id submit form dot serialize function. This will easily read form data. And last is callback function. With help of this function data contains response from insert.php page. Friends in this callback function our request succeeds, so form value must be removed from HTML tag. For this I have write dollar with form selector dot trigger method with reset. This will clear form after submitting. Now I have want to display data after form submitting for this I have write dollar with division tag with id response dot fade in method dot html method and under this method I write data which I have received from server. Now suppose friends I want to remove display data from web page after 5 seconds, so I have used set timeout method with anonymous function. Under this function I have write dollar with selector like division with it response dot fade out method slow. In this method second parameter is timing, I have defined 5000 millisecond which is equal to 5 second. And last after data insert into database submit button must be enabled. So I have write dollar with hashtag with button is submit dot prop method. In this method first parameter is disabled and second parameter I have write false. With help of this code button will be enabled after insert data into database. Now friends out query code part is complete. Now I have moved to PHP code part for insert data into database. So I have moved to insert.php page. On this page first I have make database connection. For making database connection I have write dollar connect is equal to miscly connect function with parameter like host is equal to local host. Username is equal to root password is equal to blank and database name is equal to testing. After this I want to check Ajax method has send requested to this page. For checking this things I have used if statement with condition. In condition I have used set function with dollar post form data like name. With help of this code we can reduce injection error. Now friends I have defined two variable name and message. In name variable I have store value of form data like input type text with name is equal to name and in message variable I have store value of text area field with name is equal to message. Here I have used miscly real escape string function. This functional escapes special characters in a string for use in an SQL statement. There is two parameter first is database connection string and second is string. After this I want to make SQL query for insert data into table for this I have write variable query is equal to insert into table form with column name name and message with values dollar name and dollar message which I have defined above and under this variable I have store form data like name and message.
Now friends I want to check data properly inserted or not, for checking this things I have right of statement with condition, in condition I have use miscle query function with parameter database connection string is equal to connect and second is ask ul query which I have store in query variable. Friends suppose data successfully inserted into database and I want to display inserted data onto web page for display data onto web page. For this I have simple write echo statement with this text. Lastly friends first I have save page and check the output in browser. friends data are successfully inserted, you can also check in database also. So, friends thank you for watching this video on how to insert form data with the help of jQuery Ajax serialize method. So friends thank you for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video you can comment on this video I will reply on your comment. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webslisten on Twitter.